Corrupt Practices Act of 1977, the FCPA, be proposed for debarment from any further contracts or grants with the federal government. Furthermore, the bill makes it federal policy that no contracts or grants should be awarded to any individual or companies who violate the FCPA. Yeah. Just, will the clerk now report the amendment? H.R. 5366, a bill to require the proposal for debarment from contracting okay. with the federal government of persons violating the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act Without of 1977. Without objection, so ordered. I recognize the gentleman from uh, Mr. Welch for uh, five minutes to explain uh, his... Uh, Thank you, Chairman Towns and Ranking Member Issa, for allowing me to bring this bill before the committee today. Uh, Mr. Chairman, as you know, our soldiers and sailors, uh, often while in harm's way, abide by a military code of conduct. Frequently, that's at their peril. But private contractors don't. And in 2007, Blackwater employees allegedly shot and killed 17 Iraqis in the now infamous Nassour Square massacre. Two months later, Blackwater quietly funneled about $1 million in bribes to Iraqi officials to quiet the public uproar over the killings. And according to the reports, the president of Blackwater at the time, Mr. Gary Jackson, personally approved those bribes. All of this happened while Blackwater was collecting billions of dollars in taxpayers' uh, money to continue, millions of dollars to continue to conduct business in Iraq. My bill seeks to root out companies who tarnish the good name of our country and, I would say, our military, and also waste taxpayer dollars. The bill allows the government to debar any company found guilty of a violation of the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act of 1977. It's a common sense, simple, and responsible bill to protect the use of our taxpayer dollars and the reputation of our military in our country, and I urge support for this bill. I yield back. Any other members seeking recognition? Uh, Mr. Chairman. Gentleman from California. I would ordinarily not uh, support a automatic or a mandatory debarment. But I do think the, uh, the gentleman's consideration in this particular case is one that is noteworthy. The minority will offer no amendments. Uh, we would like to continue looking at whether there should be some out clause further than, than uh, presidential intervention. But at the same time, I believe that operating illegally outside the U.S., bribes and the like, are a good example of where there should be as close to zero tolerance as possible. And I support the gentleman's uh, bill and yield back. Right. Hearing no amendments, the question is on H.R. 5366. All those in favor say aye. aye. All opposed say no. In the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it, and H.R. 5366 is agreed to, and without objection, H.R. 5366 is ordered, reported favorably to the House.